Within working within the silversmiths, so I've learned a lot in terms of practical skills and knowledge, um, and just developing my work on a different scale from jewellery into silversmithing. So that's been quite a big learning curve, and just kind of exploring different aspects of my work. Doing the workshops within the school, I think again has been a learning experience, but more in terms of what to expect from a particular age group, how to work with them. Um, and motivate them. The work within Regents is kind of more inspiring and the environment there in terms of developing my work, whereas here it's we are delivering a project, we are teaching techniques and skills or we're trying to work with them to produce something. Yeah, I think so because it's just time to reflect on what you're doing and sort of thinking about um, different strands to explore, different themes and ideas and working sort of in the two venues as well, although perhaps working in school isn't directly related, it, I have stopped to kind of think about um, what that experience means to, to the participants etc and, and how that might feed into what I'm doing but it's kind of quite loose. For me, I mean, everything about Regents, I'd say, has been positive. I yeah. don't think I'd say I've necessarily got any negatives there at all. I mean, that's been great. You deliver in a workshop, there's different criteria for different people and there's uh, different constraints and so on. It's also been positive in the sense that I feel that I've actually learnt a lot from it mm -hmm. and then how I might approach a similar workshop again in the future. Great, yeah. Just yeah. meet with Miranda and uh, normally Tuesdays about now. Um, and talk about my work and just being able to ask the silly questions that my friends and family don't know the answers <laughs> to. I've already got a workshop booked for August with younger kids. I think it's given me a more realistic idea of what you can expect from kids. So um, you really have to be careful in your time planning yeah. and rely less on them to come up with their own ideas, give them the option to, but have set projects for them to just follow if they're not that way inclined. Mm -hmm.